We are live from your drive this afternoon with Domino's Pizza, the official food of everything. Police headquarters, West Division is where we are. It's all about the launch of the Christmas anti-drink drug driving campaign. We're with Adam Dawson, Sergeant Showbiz, as we like to call him in the in the trade. That's what I've been told to call you anyway. How are you, sir? I'm very good, thank you. And I'm going to kill my inspector when I get... <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to argue with Big Rob, surely? No, definitely not, no. But, uh, yeah, we're here to deliver a very important message. Sadly, uh, drink and drug driving is prevalent at the moment uh, this the new piece of legislation came in five years ago we've been trying to get the message out but we're still detecting lots of uh, drink and drug drivers across Lancashire's roads 285 arrests last year across Blackpool Wire and Files Lancashire and Morecambe is massive so what's the procedure here what do you want me to do you want to test me this afternoon it's very windy here that's what you can hear at the moment um so talk us through what's going to happen now adam okay so uh, just like we, we did with dave benson the officers will detect that they believe there's a presence of a drug in your system either from smell from searching you or, or from the, the manner of your driving they'll form the opinion that they need to conduct a saliva test on you and that's the process we're going to go through today with the saliva drug kit Okay, let's start this then, right. So it's like a packet. It looks like a, a giant hot chocolate packet. It is. It looks very much like that. It comes in a silver foil packet. It's sealed. We open it up and inside is a device that looks very, very similar to a pregnancy test. Okay. It's got a uh, blue uh, paddle. Uh, inside it, there's an ampule of liquid that will react to your saliva. So first things first, I need you to pull lots of funny faces and put your tongue inside your mouth and rub it around as best you can to get me lots of saliva. Thank you very much. Right, I'm good at that, right. I'm going to stick well, my did, tongue out. You did very well. Stick your tongue out like you're at the doctor's, that's it. Uh, and we're going to wipe this paddle on your... Turn the pads into the right colour. We'll clip it together. And then we'll break the ampule. And as I said, there's a solution in there that will react with your, um, your saliva. And then we'll lay it flat and wait for the device to react, okay? How long does it take? It takes eight minutes to react. Let's play a couple of songs. We'll come back for the results. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adam, right, we'll be back in shortly. Uh, this is Radio Wave live from your drive, uh, being drug tested live on the radio. The results on the way very soon. Live from your drive with Domino's, official food of everything. The caravan is at police headquarters. I'm on my best behaviour. That's Band-Aid. Do they know it's Christmas? Got you covered with the latest traffic and travel news next. It's all about the launch of the Christmas anti-drink drug drive campaign today. It's on until the beginning of January. I'm with Sergeant Adam Dawson. Just a short time ago, Adam, you drug swipe tested me. It's a weird experience. I had to stick my tongue out. In fact, look at our social media because you'll be able to see how it all when you might have heard it on the radio can i have my results please yes you can chef it's good news you didn't provide any indication that there was any drugs in your system uh, but sadly for many motorists at the moment uh, these tests are coming back positive and you would be arrested if they did come back positive for section 5a of the road traffic act so i'm good i'm good to go um that's absolutely fine you know um a message for people with just been trying to reiterate this across the afternoon what advice would you people obviously people do use recreational drugs you shouldn't do that and particularly you shouldn't be considering getting into a motor vehicle no people do use them uh, there is legislation in place for prescribed drugs and obviously there's certain drugs that are uh, opiates for example methadone and things like that are prescribed to people and they're set at legal levels so there is legal levels uh, set for um, driving however just like with alcohol, we recommend that nobody takes anything before getting in a motor vehicle. So, listen to the advice this afternoon. We're not saying don't have any fun over Christmas time. Just play by the rules and just, just have a good time over Christmas. Thanks for the experience. You're welcome. Anytime. And uh, I'll be on my best behaviour, I promise. And I'm sorry I couldn't give you the pleasure of arresting me this afternoon. Not. That's okay, Shep. Like I say, just watch the social media videos. They are there for a purpose. Uh, it's not just Christmas, it's all year round, but obviously there's spikes in uh, collisions and detections in relation to drink and drug driver around the Christmas period. We want everyone to get home safely.